Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today I am going to teach you an important topic of mathematics that is Roman numerals. As we all know, Roman numeral system is a numeral system that is originated in Rome and now it has been used worldwide. Sometimes we see some characters or some symbols in the faces of clocks, at bus stands, railway stations or we use some symbols to number the books, pages of the books or to denote the classes like 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th etc. So it has been oftenly seen that some students face this problem for remembering or for understanding these num Roman numbers. So I am going to teach you an easy way to understand this topic in a better way. So for understanding this, you need first you need to be aware of some of the rules that is being used in the Roman numerals. So let us come to the first rule. The first rule is the standard alphabet standard letters of the alphabet that has been used by the Romans to denote their numerals. So let us see one by one. I have I that is stands for one. B stands for five. X stands for 10, L stands for 50, C stands for 100, D stands for 500, M stands for 1000. So these are the seven letters of the English alphabet that has been used by the Romans or by us as well for writing the Roman numerals. So as you can see, there is a pattern in these Roman numerals like 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, 1. And we are using only the number 1, 5 and the suffix zeros in this Roman numerals. So for understand, for memorizing this sequence, I have a short trick for you. I hope you are going to enjoy it. Let us see. I have a sentence that is, I tell you xylophone like cows do milk. It includes all the alphabet used, all the letters used in this Roman numerals that is I, V, X, L, C, D, M and as you can see these are in the same sequence which have been given in the Roman numeral chart. So I hope you have understood this. Now let us come to the second rule. Now the second thing to understand is the formation of the Roman numerals. Let us see the first 10 Roman numerals how to write down 1 to 10 in Roman numbers. We use single I for 1, 2 I's for 2, 3 I's for 3, 4 I V for 4, V for 5, V I for 6, V I I for 7, V I I I for 8, I X for 9 and X for 10. But there is a rule for writing these Roman numerals. So it is very easy to memorize these 10 but the question arises is how to write down further Roman numerals. So let us see. So when a symbol appears after a larger number like V, I, it means 1 more than 5. So it will be 6. Same as V, I, I, that is 2 more than 5, that will be 7. One more thing, V, I, 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 that is 3 more than 5, it will be 8. Children, you need to keep one thing in your mind that we can't repeat any, any letter in this more for more than 3 times. So, we have to stop here as we can't repeat more I's after the V. So let us see what will happen if a symbol appears at the left side of a larger number. That means 1 less than 5 and it will become 4. Same as if you are doing with x. Let us see with the x. x i that means 1 more than x or 1 more than 10 it will become 11. X, I, I, 2 more than 10, that will be 12. X, I, 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 that is 3 more than 10, that will be 13. 
So again we have to keep in mind we can't repeat now, we can't be move further, so we have to stop it here. Let us see again what will happen if we have to write down and a larger a num symbol before a larger number. So it means one less than ten that will become nine. I hope you have understood this. Now let us see some conversions from Hindu Arabic numbers to Roman numerals. We have 18. What do you mean by 18? If we write down 18 in the expanded form, we will have 10 plus 8. So, as we all know how to write down 10 in Roman numerals, yes, we have to write down x. And for 8, we have to write down 3 more than 5. So, it will be v, i, i, i. So, this is the Roman numeral that is x, v, i, i, i for 18. Now, let us see 67. For 67, it is 60 plus 7. So we know how to write down 60. 60 means 10 more than 50. So this is 60. And 7 is 5 more, 2 more than 5. So LXVII is the symbol for 67. Let us see the next number. It is 85. 85 means 80 plus 5. So, to write down 80, we need to have 30 more than 50. So, it will be 50, 60, 70, 80. This is the number symbol for 80 and we have 5. So, for writing down 85, we have to write down L, X, 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 V. So, these are the conversions of Roman numerals of two digits. Now, let us move for the three digit numbers. So, three digit numbers we have 142. So, it means 100 plus 40 and plus 2. So, how to write down 100? Yes, we have to write down 100. C for the 100. 40, that means 10 less than 50. So, X, L. And for 2, we need to have 2 I's. So, the two symbol for 142 will be C, X, L, I, I. Let us move to the next number. It is 175. That means 100 plus 70 plus 5. So, for 100, yes, we know it will be C. For 70, we need to have 20 more than 50. 50, 60, 70 and 5. So, the symbol for 175 will be C, L, X, X, V. Next is 386. So yes, for 300, we need to write down 300 plus 80 plus 6. So now the question arises for 300, what we have to write down? Yes, we have to write down 3 times C. That is 3 times 100. For 80, 30 more than 50. And for 6, we have V, I. So, this is the symbol for 386. It is triple C, L, triple X, V, I. So, this is a quite big long number. But, let us move to the four digit numbers now. So, it seems a little bit tricky or a little bit wrong. But, if you know the rules how to write down, it will be easier for you. Let us see how. It is 1346. So, that means 1000. Plus 300 plus 40 plus 6. Again, we should know the symbol for 1000 as well to write down this number. So, the symbol for 1000 will be S, M. For 300, we have done just before now. So, it is C, C, C. For 40, we have 10 less than 50. And for 6, we have V, I. So, this is the number for 1,346. The symbol is M-C-C-C-X-L-V-I. For the next number, it is 3,000 plus 100 plus 30 plus 2. So, as we know, 3,000 means 3 times 1,000. So, we have to repeat M for 3 times. 
for 100 we need to write down C, for 30 we need to write down 3 times 10 and for 2 we need to write down 2 times I. So the symbol for 3132 is triple M C triple X I I. I hope you have understood this topic now but using these rules you are able to write down the Roman numerals till 3999 but it is not enough for you. So for learning further for learning further Roman numerals you need to check it out my next video. So till then be safe, stay at home. Bye bye. Thank you.